Welcome to this Windows channel and this is another look at one of the things that a lot of people ask me to review again in the fall Curious update, privacy settings. We're going to take a look at the location privacy settings and what it all means. So if you go into all settings and go into privacy, on the left side you've got a location tab. So what is the information here and how does it change or set the location of not just your PC when you go on the web, for example, but also of the different apps that you use. So the first thing that you have is location for this device is on. And uh, it's, it's funny because instead of an on off switch, you've got change. So you can click here and now you've got a on or off switch. I don't know why they did this like that. It's kind of weird. It's almost as if you, they don't want you to turn it off. But of course you can turn this off and that means they can't actually probe your windows devices to where it is now i want to state one clear information about this even though you put this off everywhere there is still a way for many websites to know where you are and that's just using the information it has with your ip and basically this just adds a layer of windows itself can actually give location information so don't think that if you turn all of this off no one ever knows where you are it ain't working like that you still can be tracked as to where you are it's just that here you're giving uh, apps and you're giving windows operating system some permissions to actually get it directly then you've got the location service which is on location service is for the apps so the location service when it is on it actually gives permission of your apps to check location and you'll know it because you see here it says this icon at the end of this there's a circle with a dot in the middle when that appears in your taskbar and you might have noticed that from time to time it shows up and disappears this is because something an app or whatever you're using even Windows itself is actually just checking out where you are what's your location at this time you can set a default location if you want and this what it does is it will bring of course this maps app you can if you want choose a default location that you want to use and this is interesting because what you could do technically would be to um, turn off location for the device and location service and set a default location which is somewhere else in from you where you are and many apps will actually use that location that you kind of spoof if you want uh, it doesn't work with everything and once again I got to stress out that some websites will still know where you are but it is an interesting feature that you can actually use to try to at least for some apps and some um, you know especially if you use Microsoft Edge some websites to maybe just kind of fool the detection of where you are but I want to remind you one thing here about location services is that if you turn off these location services and you use for example the news app or the weather app within Windows 10 Remember that if you give a wrong location, you won't have those working correctly. You won't have the weather from where you are. You'll have the weather from that location. So it, there's a you know a side to it that is actually um, a little um, sad if you don't actually activate it. But you know I do understand that some people will often have you know kind of a, a thought of well I'm not sure I want to know where I am to all of these you know apps and all of these services unfortunately once again like I say with your IP it's kind of difficult to really not you know and be totally anonymous and the only real way that you can f really uh, fool the location of your PC is to use a VPN a virtual private network service then you've got location history and this is nice because the location history it is dependent upon if you're moving around or, or not with your device so see you have a laptop and you go at different places with your laptop different coffee shops for internet uh, different places around town or even on trips with your device 
there's a location history. That means it stores the frequent spots that you go to. And that means that list can be actually uh, checked out by the apps so that they know of the different spots that you go to. So it's a form of tracking a little bit like your smartphone. But you can clear that history. So if you click the clear button here, uh, it's going to clear that history. And what's going to happen is you will have only the default location you are at right now that's going to work if you clear that history. You can also manage the information about location that's stored in the cloud. Remember that with your Microsoft account, you have an online cloud dashboard that has information about where you've been. So you see here, show location data from the past two weeks, and it shows you different places that you can go to. So it tells me here there's three places that it spots in my laptop. Why? Because, of course, I bring it with me when I go out at certain places. So um, here it tells me I got three different locations stored. So this is all the information, privacy info about you that's there. And uh, you can actually go here and uh, clear the location activity within the cloud. So that is also something you need to know that cloud services have that location in there. It's very important to actually understand that. So that's all the information they get from you. And of course, after that, you've got the privacy statement. You can actually learn more also about location settings. It brings you to a Microsoft web page that talks about it. Then all the apps that want to know your precise location. For example, I don't really care that my camera knows. I don't want to. Mailing calendar. I don't see why it should know where I am. Um, maps is okay. Edge, of course, for the, uh, the, the, the browsing. What's nice with Edge, and it says here, sites still need permission. Even if it's turned on, Edge will ask you when a website is asking for your default location. So these are different you know, websites that you can actually check out. And finally, you've got some options of geofencing. It's not available everywhere, but geofencing is a way to kind of just do a boundary of where you, when you actually go outside of this area, you can actually set limits that, okay, it doesn't track you anymore. Say, for example, your own town, you can set geofencing uh, but it doesn't work all the time here I don't have the possibility as you see here but um, you can set it within some of the apps and so basically it tells you well if you uh, if, for example I could geofence the city of Montreal which means if I go outside of Montreal it doesn't track me anymore it can't because I've set the limits into within Montreal for you know all of that and so of course you can learn more of the settings impacts on your privacy and so on um, and all dependent on, you know, if you really believe, truly believe what's there or not. So that's the location information. Uh, they've tweaked and changed that through time. So that's why it's nice to actually go back into the privacy settings of location. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.